welcome to the vlog. It's been a minute since I did a vlog. We have the wipes over there. Um, so today's Saturday morning. My baby's not feeling well today, which she hasn't since yesterday. Wait, baby. Wait. Look at your face. Is she trying to leave with her face like that? No, man. We not. Hold on, y'all. Hey guys, look at my bad baby. Her nose has been running a lot and her eyes watering. I'm not sure if it's allergies, a combination of teething because the two front molars, I mean two front teeth are coming in. Or, uh, look, I ain't do nothing but move her hand away from the camera. She been cranky. Every little thing bother her. Yeah, but her nose is running like crazy. She's coughing. I think all of this is stemming from her nose running. So her nose is running. She doesn't know how to handle mucus. So it goes to the back of her throat like it's doing now. Which prompts her to cough. She's called post-nasal drip. And she's watching Blue's Clues, yo. But anyways, um, so this is supposed to be like a morning routine vlog. But I kind of did. Everything already. <sighs> well, I'm gonna show you just the rest. I already did the stuff for her. I'm gonna tell you what I did. I got her. I got her out her crib. Um, change her diaper. I usually take her pants off in the morning. She had matching pants to go with her outfit or her sleeper. Sleep. I took them off because it'd be kind of hot in this particular room she's in. Oh, your neck is red right here, baby. Anyways. Um, so I changed her diaper. Gave her a bottle, which is right here. And then she's off. This is her little couch that falls out into her chair. She's out. Um, gave uh, gave her a bottle and then cleaned her nose. I used this. Let me show y'all. I used this. Boogie mist. Saline nasal spray. I spray this and then I use that. To suction her nose. Um, and then that's it. I gave her a bottle. She drank her bottle. Um, I'm going to give you all a look at her room before I clean it up. I guess I'll do that. Like montages. This her room. Ain't nothing in it. Her crib is in our bedroom. Because she still sleeps in the room with us. She just comes in here to play. It's her playroom. When she's a little bit older. This will be where her crib is at in here. I had stuff on the wall, but she tore it down. I put it at her level so she can see it. And instead of looking at it, she decided to grab it. She's 11 months, y'all. She'll be a one years old in April. Can't believe how big she's getting. Anyways, I'll be back once this room is straightened up. Just a little bit. All right. Okay, y'all. So, clean her room. Uh, that's some clothes she may wear today if we go out anywhere. This is her bonnet. It's her bonnet. It's the pants I had on earlier. And this I've been using this to wipe her nose from the boogers. Because I can't pull out a wipe every single time her nose runs. Because I won't have wipes. So, like a handkerchief. So, this is her room. Nothing on the wall. Well, besides that. Um... A little play area. I gotta get, I'm gonna grab these bottles. This is just trash. Grab these bottles. She had a humidifier in here um, for during the day. But she decided to knock it down yesterday. Yep. So, got her two bottles in here. Ain't nothing here. This is some, a brush, some stuff. Oh, yeah. I gotta clean that out. I got boogies in it. Okay, one last uh, Look at this. Look at this. Okay, y'all. This is the bedroom. Yes. It looks a mess. Her crib, my bed. I'm gonna make the bed and straighten up the room. I'll be right back. Okay, so I straighten the room up. Straighten the stuff on the side. Okay, so 
Um, I don't know if you've seen the last part of my video cut out. Straighten all the, straighten the bed up. Nothing perfect, just so it doesn't look crazy. Don't need to do anything to her bed because she doesn't sleep with anything. That's when her other bonnets, and it's a sheet. Sometimes she does sleep with a sheet. Don't care what people have to say about her sleeping with a sheet at 11 months old, but that's what I do. <laughs> it's a small sheet that, I don't know, something, something really weird would have to happen. For her to wrap herself in the blanket over her face to where she could not breathe and could not wake up out of her sleep to move so she can't breathe. I just, it, I get it because stuff happens, but at the same time, it's like, I just started doing this a couple of days ago. She'll be 12, she'll be a year old in a couple of weeks. But anyways, and I don't do it every night sometimes, but skip past that. So I got some clothes over here. It's our fan that we sleep with because it'd be hot. Got some clothes over here. These are clean clothes. Some more shoes back here. That's our door. We took it off the hinges because it broke. Um, One of the hinges broke. It's an old apartment, so stuff don't. You can see it at the bottom. The hinge is kind of. Uh, I don't think it's this one. I think it was this one. Or it was the hinge from the door or something like that, like the actual one on the door. It had the uh, one of the the screws were staying in. But anyways, I'm about to put all these clothes on the bed to move them out the way so I can clean this area right here. And then we're good for the bedroom. I'm going to fold them up later on. All right, y'all. Put all the clothes on the bed. I'm going to fold them up. Probably not going to see me fold them up in this vlog. Um... Got the shoes, the floor to the bathroom. You see the bathroom, not really gonna show you the bathroom. But I straightened the bathroom up. You know what I'm saying? Our towels and stuff. See the shower curtain. Closets. More shoes over here. Yes, we have a lot of shoes. We have a lot of clothes. These are clothes that we washed. These are just our clothes. Me and my man, none are the kids. Kids got their own separate for their clothes. But anyways, I'm about to do the living room. Let me show y'all the living room. I ain't gonna show y'all my house from the room to the living room because the house is a mess. Which is why I'm cleaning up. Ooh, I have to make a pit stop and clean her nose. Look at her nose, bro. It's a tree that's far from the flowers. Ooh. And she pooped. Oh, it stink. Anyways, I'm gonna come back for that one real quick. Make sure she got it all out. Okay, yeah, this is my living room. <coughs> I know we don't show anybody my house, but this is my living room. Um, that fish tank be getting rid of. Bunch of pictures on the wall and stuff like that. That area over there with the high chair won't really get clean because it's just a bunch of blankets on the floor that we have nowhere to put. And this is our snack section. This is not gonna get clean either because it's just a bunch of snacks. There's nowhere to put them, but this is where they go because our cabinet space is small. So I'm gonna also show you how the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. Not too bad. You know what I'm saying? Stove pretty clean. Just gotta get that one spot up. That's her baby section. Got some grease in there. Really not too many dishes in the sink, just a few. Cause uh, my baby did them yesterday. We had Taco Bell last night, some bottles that are dirty. And then my computer area, which is, so I'm gonna show y'all all of this once I'm done. I'll be right back. So I straighten up the living room or whatever. Just straighten it up, nothing crazy. I'm gonna sweep the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, this area, that's her. That stuff is already situated. Um, that's how his little game area. He sits over there mostly the game. Uh, Move the shoes. We just got a new Xbox. That's our weed stuff. I'm sorry. Family channel. I don't know what that is. Um, we're just going to edit that out. Xbox. Like I said, the snacks. Um... This TV stand is always junky, and it's just 
a bunch of electronic stuff. Like literally, it's a camera over there, um, like bottles at the bottom, a sound system, an Xbox, a PlayStation, a brush, some hand sanitizer. Like it's just a bunch of like stuff because we don't have too much surface. Um, why is the apple juice in the middle of the floor? The world may never know. It should be over here. Well, it should be in the fridge. Hold on, y'all. Okay, my kitchen area is clean. I have the littlest kitchen in the world. Um, I put all her bottles right there in the sink. Wipe the sink down always. And like I said, my sink clean. I had some flowers in a vase. A couple of days ago, that's what that is. Um, yeah, I got my. Well, actually, I should turn the, the token around so that people don't see the name. <coughs> Family channel. We're not gonna worry about that. But yeah, I clean my kitchen. I got a pot over there because I'm about to heat up some food. Um, that's my refrigerator. I'm about to make me some coffee. We also have a deep freezer and a, vet, a washing machine that we don't use right now. Water machine. But yeah, this is, um, like I said, that's my snack area um, and stuff that I can't fit. These are the two cabinets I have. That cabinet, that one has the spices in it, that one has food in it, and that one has the dishes. Them the only cabinets I have in this kitchen. Come on now. So... The rest of the stuff that can't fit in the cabinet fits over here. That's why it looks like this. Only thing I do keep over here is her diaper bag. Bam. Um, her jacket that she's currently wearing. This was the jacket she was wearing before. But she doesn't need it. Well, she can still wear it. They both kind of light. But she's been wearing her jean jacket lately. This is a towel I have for her. Or whatever. All our snacks. And her shoes right there. And there's a hat. Put all our snacks, our chips, more snacks, more snacks. Literally all you to the bottom, more snacks. So I cleaned the living room, wiped the couches down, where I sprayed the couches down. I need to get one of them things to remove the stains. That's why they look like that. Um, I got a story and sweep the floor, but that's it. Don't ask why there's hair here. Listen, y'all. I do the best I can to raise my baby. You know what I'm saying? Maintain a clean household and also go to work. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes this is the best you're gonna get, but it's it's clean for the most part. The counters is clean and free. You know what I'm saying? There's no dishes in the sink besides those. I'm not. I do my dishes at the end of the night because. Um, I didn't do these last night because I had a headache and went to sleep. But I normally do my dishes at night, um, sometimes in the morning, if I don't get to it at night, if there was a big dinner. But I do it in the morning, I mean at night, once the day after, the, once the day's done before bed, so there's no um, bugs. Because I live in Las Vegas where bugs does come around. But anyways, yeah, so this is it. I'm going to show y'all my baby one more time i'm pretty sure she already destroyed the room yeah. already doesn't take long hi baby she wants to have loose clothes while I clean up straighten up oh there's two more bottles in here i forgot let me get those get all her bottles i like to soak them first Give her the rest of this milk. Cause um, the type of milk she's on, let me tell y'all real quick. Hold on y'all, hold on. Oh, and this is the hallway bathroom, the kids bathroom. Let me show y'all real quick. That's her bathroom. Look at this cute shower curtain. It's a It's a sisters forever, cause Brooklyn has nothing but sisters. So my baby's name is Brooklyn. She has nothing but sisters. But anyways, this is the other um, bath. 
whatever, blah, blah, blah. The kid's bath. Anyways, um, okay. No, I didn't clean that stain up. It'll be okay. I will do it later on when I do the dishes. So this is the milk that she's on right now. Uh, this is the milk that she was on. I still have the cans. Um, but you see it's still milk in here. I stopped using it when once the recall came out. If anybody knows, there was a Similac recall. And this particular milk is on the lot of numbers of ones that were recalled. So this is <clears throat> the alternative brand to the milk that she's on. So she's been on this milk because she had an issue with throwing up for a long time and then finally we found the milk that worked for her. I mean she would throw up after every meal, like throw up multiple times. Once we started giving her this, she never threw up ever again. She barely spit up, like she didn't even spit up, like she just didn't throw up enough, like everything stayed in. So this was a good milk. Um, and so the recall, so Similac Elementum, it's hypoallergenic one. So we got the Nutrigemum Hypoallergenic by Infamil. So the other brand, the other company, you know, the two companies. The two main companies is Similac and Infamil. Um, so that's what she's on. I got some snacks and stuff. I can show y'all real quick what I got. Got some grains, some oatmeal. Swapped her, her bottles and stuff. She got some baby food back there that she don't eat. That's why it's been sitting there forever. Um, she got these. I tried these. I really don't like to give her prepackaged food because I just don't know how it's packaged. But this is different. These are like little drink things. So this is oat milk smoothie. It's for 12 months. She's not 12 months yet, but I don't think a month is going to really make the difference in what... You know what I'm saying? It's oat milk. It's not like cow milk so cow milk is 12 months then she got arrow root biscuit cookies she like these she eat them sometimes um i got this little food thing for her it's supposed to be yellow rice and chicken and vegetables i haven't gave it to her yet because i don't like to give her stuff like this this is like last minute i just took it out to see what it looked like if it even looked appetizing but it doesn't and then she got the yogurt melts she don't really like those. She got the pus. She don't really like these either. I mean, she do, but she don't. Then she got these white cheddar crunchies, but these are no good. I mean, they're probably like stale. Like, they're not, you know what I'm saying? And then she has this one. This one's almost, they're like, oh no, it's still full. She ate some, see? Not a lot. white cheddar ones saying she ate some see but not a lot so I try to give her snacks right now she's teething really bad so she's like you would think she would want to chew on stuff but it's not the same as like a piece of food that she can chew on um it's not the same as a piece of food she can chew on with her mouth like I don't know how to explain it like with her front teeth like you can't chew on that with your front teeth because it's so small you need you know what I'm saying so anyways guys I'm out of here <clears throat> thank you for watching um no I'm not gonna show you my face because I look beat to the world but it's okay guys hope you guys have a good day peace out